when you see me here standing on stage barefoot, a few questions are probably popping up in your head like, who is that woman coming on stage barefoot? Or I've never ever seen anybody speak on stage barefoot. What's that supposed to mean? You're looking for answers? <laughs> not so fast. This is not about answers, and here's why. I'm a German-trained physician and a naturopath with over 30 years experience in healthcare. I also went through severe suicidal depression myself. So you could call me a mental health patient, survivor, or what I prefer, thriver. These days, I exclusively work by choice as a brain and mental health coach, helping others navigating the darker side of life, unfortunate circumstances, depression, anxiety. As a coach, I ask questions, I listen, I think, I disrupt ingrained thought patterns to make space for new, often healthier ones. As a coach, I use my own knowledge and experience to help others find their purpose and passion and develop their goals and then train their brain so eventually, step by step, they will get there. So before I tell you why I am here on stage today, let me ask you a question. In North America, why does it seem to be a contradiction to be a physician and a naturopath when it isn't the case in most other parts of the world? <laughs> Let's go back to basics. I was born barefoot, and so was every single one of you, right? <laughs> but we don't stay barefoot for long. Soon, our feet get squeezed into molds called shoes. This is how we become ungrounded, disconnected from nature. We are not allowed to bear our souls either. These two get forced into molds called culture and education. Now, some of that is necessary for survival, but maybe did we take it a little bit too far? Having been a sufferer myself and from talking with many other depressed individuals, I found that in Western modern medicine and especially in the treatment of depression, there is a widening gap in healthcare. And here's how I see this gap. On one side, there's a suffering individual, anxious, depressed. Then there is a gap, which means doing nothing until it gets really bad and function is really impaired. And then there are the highly trained specialists and subspecialists focusing on a very small part of this person, giving medication, psychotherapy, both great options, if they are affordable and available. They often are not, or they are not enough. As a consequence, many people still suffer in silence in the gap. Some of them have been in this gap for so long that it is very hard or impossible for them to get back to a productive, purposeful, and happy life. No wonder that in 2017, the World Health Organization identified depression as the number one cause of disability in the world today. And WHO chief Margaret Chan concluded then that these new figures are a wake-up call to all countries to rethink their approach to mental health and to give it the urgency it deserves. As a doctor and a coach, I couldn't agree more. I myself felt this gap intuitively when at 16 years old, I went to the local library 
in my birth town, Ulm, in Germany. I felt lonely and very depressed. And a book fell in my lap quite serendipitously, an English language book written by humanist psychologist Carl Rogers. The title read, On Becoming a Person. And I still remember my longing amazement while reading this title and the sudden insight, this is what I want. I lived my life thereafter, falling in all the traps and holes of life myself. In short, I lived my life as good as I could, like most of us, all the while trying to become that person that I read about in the book by Carl Rogers, growing up, reaching my next level. And believe you me, 44 years later, I'm still at it. You know, in my close to 61 years of life, I found that we humans don't grow by gaining knowledge. We grow by our own insights, by a series of aha moment, and then taking targeted action from there, making mistakes, trying again, learning from them, growing. I myself reinvented my life several times and I came out a stronger person. These days, in my current work as a coach, I'm privileged to listen to many other people's life stories and help them climb their mountains of life. And sadly, I find that many people fall in this gap. Some of them stay there for a long time and some sadly get stuck in the rut for life. Now this is why I am barefoot on stage today. I could be the first barefoot doctor of the Western world. <laughs> now, as you probably know, barefoot doctor in China was a regular person trained to deliver basic health care and preventative measures to a wide area of the population, much less expensive and much faster. Given the current strain on our healthcare systems, could this be an important and economical part in healthcare delivery in Western medicine too? I feel that trained practitioners or trained coaches, if you will, could be barefoot doctors of the West in this collaborative healthcare sense to help alleviate the rapidly expanding crisis that we see in mental health today. Effective healthcare involves habit changes, and coaches are trained and often very effective at helping individuals to achieve exactly this. They often use Neuroscience. Neuroscience, the science of the interplay between physiological and psychological processes when it comes to thought and mood, has exploded in the last 20 years. We have learned so much about gut-brain connection, neurotransmitters, and so much more. For example, scientific studies have proven over and over that a combination of good nutrition, targeted nutritional supplements, regular exercise, improved social connections, and finding meaning and purpose improves and maintains mental health. So, in my opinion, shouldn't these be the interventions and preventative measures we need to undertake first, early, to try to heal depression and anxiety from the ground up. I understand and appreciate that public health is trying to implement some of these measures. But in my opinion, there's still so much to do and there's so much to learn from other cultures 
and from the past when it comes to truly effective collaborative healthcare. And in my own experience as a suffering individual, a trained physician, and now as a coach, I'm actually working in this gap between suffering individual and highly trained specialist. And when I was still in the gap myself, I sure could have used a coach myself. Depression affects all of us, one way or the other. It's time to come together and find a different, a better way. And maybe Barefoot Doctors of the West could be part of the solution to bridging this gap. Thank you.